guys, Daphne here, and I have a book review for you guys today. I recently read The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. This is a great book. Thank you to Linda and Josie for making me read this because it's great. I don't think you guys watch, but thank you anyway. This is going to be a no-spoiler review, so no spoilers. You don't have to worry if you haven't read this book, but I highly recommend it anyway because it's great. For purposes of eliminating confusion, like they do in The Rook, I'm going to be referring to present Miffany as Miffany and past Miffany as Thomas. So they're both Miffany Thomas with some differences in personality and I'll explain why that happens in a little bit. The book starts out when Miffany Thomas, she's like 30-ish, wakes up surrounded by bodies and she doesn't know who she is. And she's like, oh my goodness, what is happening? And she's freaking out a little bit and she finds a letter that was written to her by herself, her past self, so Thomas. And it's explaining to her that Thomas had predicted that she was going to lose her memory and set up a sort of safety net for Miffany so that she could choose between two options. Thomas gives her the options in this letter that she's gonna go to this bank and she's gonna there's gonna be two different like safes and one of them is going to have all the essentials for her to continue on the job and the life that Thomas led prior to losing her memory or she can go to the other safe and get the materials needed to adopt a different persona and go and flee the country, which is necessary because of Thomas's prior job. She chooses to continue Thomas's life. So she takes the stuff in the vault and she finds out that Thomas was a rook in the Sheke, and I pronounced it Cheke the entire time, even though it told you the pronunciation in the beginning. I just didn't listen. So I'm gonna try my best to call it Sheke, which is the correct pronunciation. She learns that she's one of two of the Rooks, which is the Domestic Affairs Administration position in the Sheke, which is an organization tied to the British government that's kept under wraps that deals with supernatural things. And she also finds out that she has powers which is necessary to be in a high position in the court. The organization of the Sheke goes like this. So on the bottom, there are retainers and pawns, and retainers are non-powered people who are still part of the Sheke, but they cannot rise above the level of retainer. Equal to the retainers are the pawns, and pawns do have powers, so they're kind of like the, the bottom people. And then, Above that are rooks and chevaliers, and there are two of each. So there's two rooks and two chevaliers, and the rooks manage domestic affairs, and chevaliers manage international affairs. And then above that, there are the supervisors of the whole things, and that's two bishops, and then there's a lord and a lady, and they run the entire court. So Miffany is one of the rooks, shows she does domestic affairs. She goes back to her job. She's trying to rely on Thomas's letters to her. She leaves her with a bunch of materials to relearn her own life. Tiffany keeps finding letters from Thomas, which helps her to continue living Thomas's life, but she still has trouble. I mean, she lost her entire memory. She has a lot of trouble in the office, which can be funny sometimes and sometimes kind of horrific. By the end of the book, through Thomas's letters and Miffany's narrative, you really feel like you knew both of them, which I really liked. The letters were nice interludes between the book sections, and there were some definitional things that were able to get out of the way very easily. So like I said, I loved this book. I can't wait for the next one. So some of the reasons why I really like this book. One, there was a great attention to detail. The details of the Sheke and all of their powers. The powers are really interesting. For example, Gestalt is the other rook and Gestalt has four bodies that it controls with its mind. So Gestalt is pretty cool. Miffany is a great narrator. She is sarcastic and hilarious. She makes these 
out of nowhere comments about the things that are happening. She doesn't act like you think she's gonna act because you're used to Thomas through her letters and Thomas acts really differently than Miffany does. And so it's sort of a surprise when Miffany did something that you wouldn't expect because the other people in the Sheke wouldn't have expected her to do that either, but she's not Thomas anymore, she's Miffany. She doesn't know who she is, but she handles herself pretty well. There's some times where it's kind of iffy on whether or not people are gonna fall for it, but she's brilliant at her administration job. She's pretty kick butt. I like Miffany a lot. The other thing I loved about this book was the humor in it. A lot of that was Miffany's part, like I mentioned, but some of it was just very random things. Like, there would be the evil guy, and he'd be like, oh, you know, he's casually eating waffles. That's not something that happens in the book, but it would be something that would happen in the book, and you would think it was normal just because it's this book. But stuff like that, just, I would be reading, and I would get to the super serious, suspenseful section, and something completely out of the ordinary would happen, and I would stop for a minute and look at it and be like, what is happening? Why is this happening? I don't understand. And it was amazing. This is a truly unique book. I highly recommend it. It's fantasy, but more modern fantasy. It's set in Great Britain, if you didn't get that already. But this book is hilarious and I loved it. That's about it for this review. I hope that you go and check out this book because it's fantastic. But if you have already read this book, you should comment down below and tell me what you thought of it. If you have already read this book, I can tell you that my favorite character is Shantae because I love her. She's great. Uh, that's about it. Bye! recently read The Rook by... Oh, it's upside down. Oh.